between the two parallel lines? The height. Ooh. <laughs> Angry. The area is equal to one half the height times the sum of the two bases. There's a couple ways to view this formula. The way I like to view it is the height is the same everywhere. I gotta draw the pictures out of it. Terrible. That looks much better. <laughs> All right. I like doing it this way. What's the area of a rectangle? It's the base times the height, right? The thing is, we have two different bases is the problem. The height's constant. So if I take the average of the bases, add them up, divide by two, then that becomes my new base. That's kind of how I remember the formula. It's the average of the bases times the height. Okay? Some people view it differently, that's fine. You can, you can break it up into triangles and rectangles and do a whole proof, of the, whatever. Okay? Now, we're going to use this formula to do uh, what we're about to do here. I want to, again, we're going to do the same, the same function here from 1 to 2. And we'll see if it's more accurate or not. <coughs> Would you please take a moment and pretend like we're just starting this as n equals 4. Would you please come up with the delta x and generate the node points without looking back in your notes. See if you can come up with that. I want you to come up with delta x and regenerate the node points. They'll be the same as before, but I want you to know how to get them if you need them. If I see you looking back in your notes, I'm going to change n to be 6. So let's say you had to generate these. What would you do? Ask someone if you need to. B minus A over Everything else. And that's delta X. Oh, that's delta X. So, so what are we supposed to generate? <laughs> Oh, I left that there. Have you read that yet? Kevin? Have you read that yet? I left it there on accident, sorry. I know. I know. <laughs> Let's start here with Delta X. It's going to be one four. Now, let's see you forgot that. Start there. That's my delta x. To find my node points, we have this here. In this case, n is going to go from, or I'm sorry, not n, i, it's going to go from 0 to uh, 4, where i is an integer. <coughs> Our counters usually start at 0 or 1. If need be, they can start a little bit higher. There's sometimes there's a reason for that. <coughs> but um, I've rarely seen it when a, a, a counter like i is uh, negative. Yeah? How are you determining that i starts at 0? That's... Oh, because it's a counter. So we're, we're including um, the, the, the 0 place there. Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're meaning our 0 is going to be here in this case. Right. Yeah, the loop on that. All right, so let's figure this out. X naught, meaning when I equals zero, I'm going to get one plus one fourth times zero, which is again one. Notice I'm adding a delta x to each one, an extra one as we go through. X of one is one plus one fourth times one, which is one one fourth. Once 
again, please note, x naught is a, x sub n, in this case x sub 4, is b. So I'm going to break this up. And I do it before. a little bit differently. Instead of coming up with rectangles, we're actually going to generate uh, uh, trapezoids. We do that by going here and going to there. Notice I'm going straight to the previous point. Now, it doesn't look like a trapezoid maybe to you. That's okay. You would agree each of these lines are parallel. So we'll keep that in mind. Let's start with a sub 1. A sub 1 is a trapezoid. The height of this trapezoid is actually, if we turn this on its side, is actually this distance here. Parallel, parallel, height. Which is delta x in this case, right? which happens to be one fourth. So it's one half. One half times delta x times the sum of the two bases. F of one. This is f of one, right? F of x of one, I should. F of x not, pardon me. This is f of x of one. understands how I'm matching it up with the, uh, the trapezoid formula. Because they have two different sides, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know how he does it like every single time? If you just multiply by the I'd like to multiply by the coefficient of n. That would just literally be one plus one over four. Yeah. One, one, and one fourth other. Right. And then. Are you with me? H is delta. Uh, delta x, right? Yeah. Okay. Please ask questions. Right. I'm going to generalize this rule first. I'm going to add these up. I'm going to notice that I have a one-half and a one-fourth multiplied to both. I could make it one-eighth. I'm going to keep them separate for right now so we can uh, get a real feel for uh, what the formula is going to look like. So if I add these up, I'm going to get one-half times one-fourth times, and I want to point something out. f of x of x naught, there's only one of them. But notice what happens here when I'm adding them up. You see I have two of them? Oh, he does do it. You see now I have two of these as well? Mm -hmm. 
Can I have two of these as well? I only have one of those. Right? And there's a formula here. See if you can verbalize to someone what the formula is going to be. The one half is part of the formula. What is the one fourth? Delta X. That's your delta x. So see if you can come up with a generalized formula here. Just talk it over for a minute. What do you think it is? Times. 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 And uh, uh, f of x n minus one, yeah, two, but that's two, and then plus f of x by that would be a good point. And n would be the uh, what is it called? The uh, what's the generalized formula going to be? The be over the 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 Let me see if I can verbalize the formula for you. <laughs> it's looking to me like the trapezoidal rule is going to be one half times delta x, whatever that means, times. It looks like the first node and the last node, I'm just going to F them once. <laughs> yeah. Right? F them and leave them. <laughs> you have to twice. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea, though, okay? <laughs> so it's only the middle ones here that are going to get that, uh, that wow. two times each time. All the other ones, but it's just, just the other uh, one. There's going to be a similar one to this last one I'm going to show you in a minute. Are, are we a little bit clear here? I'm going to show you what the summation symbol and all this other stuff that's going on, on here. But before I do that, what I want you to do is I want you to actually calculate all this out. 